and they're going to run through asset management within Smart Trade, our ultimate version. To locate uh, the asset management, we'll just go to the top here and go Assets, and this just brings up the ribbon bar with the option there, go Find Assets. So this screen is just going to allow me to be able to, as with, with all bits of Smart Trade, we have all the fields up here which we're able to search by. You can see that we can search by client, by client group, um, asset status, condition and action and type there will all be something that we'll customize in a moment. Uh, but you can see that you can go into the location up there as well and, and with always in Smart Trade we have those customizable fields and uh, a date type that we can search by as well. So if I do hit the, the search button, you can see that here comes all the list of all my my clients that I've got uh, sites assigned to them people and then I've got the description of the assets that I've got next to them. Um, but I'm not going to show you how to get something into this list, so we'll just go down to Add down the bottom here. Once we've hit the Add button, there we go, we can see that it's labelled Add New Asset, and this is where we can just start putting the details in here. So Client Name, well that's coming from the, the client list that we would have imported into Smart Trade. so if I just type in, there you go, I'll just pick the, the Auckland Museum here. Site Address, so we can pick, again with Smart Trade. Clients can have multiple sites, so we'll just go and pick the, the site address, obviously where this device or this asset, asset is going to be located, so we'll pick that one there. Asset type, well again with Smart Trade, you'll notice that this field, like quite a few of them, has the asterisks in the top of it, so we can right click and go add the asset type in here, or, or as we are adding to them, you can see if I hit the drop down box, we have a few here, so I'll maybe just go extinguisher. You can see that you can go here and put a brand or make, uh, a model in there or model number. Description is needed, so you know we could maybe type in, you know, maybe something like CO2 uh, extinguisher, like that. Uh, and then again, as we move down the bottom, we've got that serial number. And as I mentioned in the search fields, we can, you know, have a, an asset status in here. We can see if it's in service or it's out of service, uh, the condition of it. You know, if is it new, is it old. Um, and we can also asset action as well. So all kinds of fields there that we can play with. If I hit the save button, so that's just going to save that into the into the system. It's going to give me option up here as well, things like documents, so we can start continue to make notes on this added asset. We can also uh, do attachments as well, any photos, any files. We can also go into the custom field as well, um, so if there's any fields that you've not seen as we've been going through this so far that, that are important that you need, then yeah, go into the custom um, tab here and put those customizable fields which can then be searched by but can also be uh, reported on as well. So now we've got the, uh, the asset in here, what we can then do is actually take this asset and put it onto a job or a reoccurring job to do some maintenance work on it. So we can go down to other actions down the bottom and go there we go, we can go create current job. Yep, I want to do that. And that then just brings up the, the job card. So you can see that the client name has been put in there with the site address. We can maybe put the job name in here, something like um, three month extinguisher maintenance or something like that. And just like with Smart Trade, we'll go to Job Type, and maybe just pick Charge Up because it's reoccurring. But yeah, as I was going to mention, we can continue making you know job notes on this, um, assigning people to the job, picking a job category. So we'll save that and turn that into the job number. There we go. And then what we want to do is, so this is an actual job here, and if we go down to Search For, we can see that the asset has actually been assigned to the job. And then we can just go down to Other Actions and go Create Template and then duplicate that job. There, and now we've created a, a template job, it's now giving me the, the reoccurrence option. So, you know, it defaults to none here, but then we can go in there and start picking a daily, weekly, monthly, you know, whatever um, the extinguisher needs to be maintained or, or pressure tested. You can see I've got a three month one there. So, there we go, that's kind of the, the, the setup there within asset management and, and setting up uh, new ones for clients and, and also setting up reoccurring jobs for them. Um, yeah, be happy to, to, if you want to contact us, to go through this in a bit more detail if it you know, relates to, to something within your business.